Hey guys, it's me Wiley here. Now this is a video request. I'm putting that out here right now. If you've been watching me, if you're new here, you'll see from my introduction, I do dating, related relationships, and communications. However, I did get this special request. So it's going to be really, probably a really short video. And it's all about co-parenting. I don't know if this is a new trend. I didn't know it was a thing. However, here's what it is. So a young man reached out to me about how he can co-parent with someone that he doesn't even know. And what that means is what he'll do is he'll take his donation, he'll go to the bank, and then she'll take the donation. She'll receive it, she gets pregnant, and then they get together and decide to raise the parent, not together romantically, but excuse me, raise the child, not romantically, but be co-parents. And they want to know who each other are versus the typical way of doing this is the man going into the bank, giving his donation, and then walking away. Then coming back maybe two weeks and then giving another and then walking away and not knowing who those children are. Now, I do know from the little bit of research that I did that when you do this, that at age 18, whoever the father was, that donated it and created you, you can then get their name. Not sure if it's in every state, but I do know that is a possibility for children who are in this situation, who have happened to come across this video and are wondering where they came from and they want to know their family tree. I know that in some states that you can go and get your legal father's name and then start your search for that individual. For those of you who are watching this, I'm a parent. And there is no co-parenting in my situation. I made a video about that. Check it out. However, I'm doing it by myself. However, if I could get in this situation, if I was in a situation to where I was financially well off, no money was not an issue. I say that first because caring for a kid with two parents is costly. So let alone one. So I would say I definitely want to be in the best financial place that I could be. And I suggest that for you too, if you know that you want to have a child. And then I definitely would do some background checks because there's actually a website called coparenting.com. That's what this young brother told me about coparenting.com, where you go on there for women and men who want children. However, they don't want to have a disconnect from who that other parent is. You go on there, you guys meet. You do your tests that you need to do to make sure you're both healthy individuals. And then you give the donation. She has the baby. And then you co-parent. And then you just live in two separate houses. You live as single and or not married, whatever you decide to do later on, not marrying each other. But what if that did work out though? What if that did? That's another thing. Can you imagine? <laughs> and this is just me. Now it's just me. Can you imagine that you're a co-parent? going on coparenting.com, you want to receive this donation from a stranger and you just get to know each other and you start liking each other, then all of a sudden y'all like each other and want to date and get married. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would be wild. So for those of you who are watching this, like I said, this is a different kind of video for me. However, it was a request and they just wanted my insight. So my insight is if you're bringing someone into this world and you want to have the best connection as you can with that parent. It is a good idea to look wherever you live, look at the guidelines and how that works when it comes to receiving a donation from someone and how you can keep in contact and what the parental rights will be. And you want to also decide that, okay, maybe I do want, I am single and I have been single for whatever reasons and I'm ready to have a child right now. Maybe I do want to know who the other parent is, just in case you never know why. Anything can happen, not necessarily not so good, but anything to just know where your child came from, to understand why your child acts or reacts the way they do. It's a lot of perks of doing this co-parenting thing by donation because you'll know their family tree, you'll know their quirks, you'll know where they get certain habits from, you'll understand why they operate and move and why they think the way they do because it's all about their DNA. And that's another way to make sure that later on down the line, Kimmy and Johnny don't run into a brother, a sister, a cousin, and then start co-mingling and not realizing that's their family member. So wherever you are, if you did not know, now you know. If you're looking to have a kid, 
and you know you're going to do it alone, but you don't necessarily want to, look into it on in your state. Look into how you can receive a donation and still be able to legally co-parent with that person. So I hope I covered this for you the best way I could. This was definitely a request and I did kind of, I didn't know if I was going to do this request because I don't specialize in that. I don't specialize in giving donations and being co-parents. I can tell you what it's like to be a single parent. <laughs> so outside of that, guys, if you want me to talk about an issue you have or question about specifically relationships, um, any dating, any other dating experiences I may have had that taught me lessons, how I became a life coach, communication, anything relationship based and dating. I am here. I am your girl. I am always here to express my insight, give my opinion and let you know of any struggles I've had because I'm an open book. I will tell you if I was stupid and, and when I learned to stop being stupid. So outside of that, guys, I'll talk to you later. If you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe. If you're here, you might as well stay and come back for more. Hit that notification bell every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. I'm here with a new video at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I'll see you in the next one.